Hey, what's going on guys? Halfway01 here, and today I'm bringing you a Galaxy of Heroes strategy guide. I know I've been gone for a very long time from the channel, I apologize, I even left a note uh, on my channel saying the reason, and the reason is I'm in college, I'm doing engineer mechanical engineering, and it's just eating up a lot of my time, and I, you know, put my time and investment in, you know, doing well in my classes, so now I have some breathing room after the midterm, so I decided to do a video. And, and uh, regarding Star Wars Force Arena, I do still play the game for those of you that subscribe for that content. I'll be doing content here and there, but it's not going to be my primary uh, content. I'm making, I'm going to be making Galaxy of Heroes my primary content from here on out, but I'll still be doing Force Arena videos, so just comment below what you guys want to see. I honestly can do anything. Um, I know the new update came out today too, so I mean, I'm not just not, I'm not really that excited for the game in general. I still play, but you know, just anyway. Uh, let's get into the guide. So today I, I want to talk about uh, gear 12 pieces and what everyone in any realm uh, free to play up to whale or kraken should focus on gearing. So, well first of all you want to be in a, in a decent or like a really good guild that gets you territory battle rewards, preferably 40 stars and up. I realize that a lot of people maybe just started the game recently and it's not possible, but that's okay. I'm talking mostly to people that played the game since launch or for like more than a year. You should be already in a uh, territory battle capable guild that's at least 40 stars, at least um, minimum I think should be good enough. So you could farm Hermit Yoda and the gear 12 pieces at the same time. Um, I am in Team Instincts, so I get the highest stars, which is 45 stars, so I get the maximum reward, so it's really helpful for me. So what I do is, I usually get, I think, 8,000, plus all the special missions guild the reward. So I usually farm Hermit Yoda, I uh, just buy 15 shards per territory battle, so that's, that's like 4,000, and then that leaves me at four, about 4,000 left, and then the rest, I just buy gear 12 pieces. So, that being said, that's how you guys should be farming these gear 12 pieces and um what you what should we gear these pieces so i would recommend pilots your pilot current pilots in your ship chart that you use in your main lineup um to ensure that the ships because the uh because the gear pieces actually affect how the ship of that pilot goes how fast it goes so for example my tie order fire uh, to first or sorry <laughs> first order tie pilot is completely geared out zeta'd um and it goes and the ship his ship goes at 192 that's the fastest possible uh speed it can go and you want to go the fastest because you want to get the first rewards in the ship shard and turn leads to fleet tokens and you can buy zeta zetas are very important that leads to arena it just goes in a circle everything relates that's why you want to work on the pilots first because you can do well in the ship shards even if you're free to play if you have at least your pilots going fast you could out beat them on hope and hope for like rng getting you a target luck stuff like that but anyway so like i said it goes like in a circle so you want to work on everything you do you don't want to just work on arenas and that's it or ignore ships because that's going to hurt you in the long run you're not going to be able to farm those zetas which can help your arena team a lot um yeah so i'm personally i'm done with the first order tie pilot i would suggest doing the regular tie file uh tie pilot first and then the first order it doesn't really matter honestly um and as for my tie pilot if i could find him There it is. Okay. So as my, for my tie pilot, as you guys can see here, I am almost done. I need one more gear piece. He's one speed off from max. That's no, sorry. That's just the tune. Okay. There it is. Uh, it's 193. If I get that last gear piece, it's going to go at 194, which is the fastest possible. And I already have a few uh people like i am dexter <laughs> if you're watching this <laughs> um he go he's his ships go the fastest um and i'm just trying to compete with him the faster although we don't even attack each other we just work together on the ship chart anyway so uh with that being said um that's for the gear 12 pieces now let's talk about ships um 
my ships that I use basically, well, I have a very overpowered team that helps a lot. I'm not going to lie. Everyone's going to be saying like, you have a very high rouster and that's why you win. I mean, I have another account that's way lower rouster and uh, I still win with a level, or not level, uh, three star reaper. So I have bigs, I have bigs, I have reaper, and then I have the two type high fires and I'm using Biston's Ewing. Biston's very good with uh, turn meter manipulation, stuff like that and getting stealth and all that good stuff and he, and he target locks and go stealth at the same time. Very good ship. Um, what you what ships should you, you guys farm? I would suggest getting those two Tie Fighter ships going. You you want that because everyone uses that. That's those are the two most important ones because they're going to be doing the target lock for you. Free to play aspect. I would work on the Vader's uh, Vader's uh, ship. Vader's Tie Fighter. Tie 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 Advanced. I think. Yeah, Tie Advanced. Yeah, uh, you guys can work on that if you're free to play. It's more accessible. But, I mean, if you're further down the game, I would suggest uh, you working on the Reaper. It's farmable now. It has been for, like, I think a month now. It just recently came out. It's farmable on a hard node. I would personally do some refreshes to, to unlock it because it's it's worth it. It's usable. The more, most important thing is usable at three stars. If you have, if you have the uh, Death Trooper and the Scarif, or the not scare, sorry, short trooper, at both gear ten. It's usable. The ship's usable. It's great. It's phenomenal. You could even like, if what helps with the ship is you can slow down the enemy team's capital ship, even if they go the fastest, and you get uh, turn meter in your favor, and you could win, even if you're very like lower than, let's say a kraken. The ship will win you games. So I suggest you guys farm that and at least get it to five stars for it to be not squishy. Um, it's still usable at three stars, so highly recommend that. But that's pretty much it. I mean, if you guys want me to do an in-depth guide on ships, on exactly what to farm here and there, I can do that. But I primarily wanted to focus on gears and tackle the topic on ships because they're all all relate. Um, and uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. And then I'll get I'll finish off the video by doing a battle. Why not? Since uh, some of the video is not gonna be just me talking. All right. So the lineup that I said I'm gonna be using right now. So I'm gonna I guess gonna talk how I go through the battles so you guys imitate because the tie the tie fighters you should have. Uh, so the tie fighters are your main target lock king uh, ships. You wanna. Have them the fastest, that's why you put the gear on them so they go the fastest. And in this case, my opponent's ships are slower, so I get to go first. He has a Millennium Falcon in his uh, first lineup. I would suggest if you have a Millennium Falcon, for those of you that spent money, put it in the backup line. It's a good ship, but it's not for the front line because, as you guys see, it's very, very, very squishy. I'm gonna try target locking with no avail gonna put protection up and then distance Ewing is gonna go stealth and target lock is bigs um, hmm let's go ahead there do that massive attack do the massive throne AOE and most of the ships are down almost so we're looking pretty good so far I mean this is not gonna be too hard oh that didn't take it down long so, I beat a ship, now I'm getting advantage because the Reaper slowed down the capital ship by 35% and it's going to slow down and he's not going to be able to, well, the AI is not going to be able to go with the capital ship. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call the Scimitar, Scimitar, I you pronounce it, and going to go Stealth, so my Reaper does that. You want to protect your Reaper. At all costs, especially if you guys have a three-star Reaper, you always want to protect it because it's gonna go down really fast. And two, three attacks is gonna go down, but it's worth it to run. Just think, make sure you play correctly, and you should win battles. And not only that, uh, if you guys have a ship shard, chat. I suggest you guys get into your ship shard chats as they're really helpful. You could like other players will help you out if you need it. 
and uh, you can coordinate and get first so people don't bump you and stuff like that. So like, I recommend you guys doing that. That's the, another thing that's very, very important to do. Uh, it's not like a solo game where you just go on the ladder by yourself. You have to work together because everyone has payouts and you, you know, just to not get anyone upset. It's just like a good way to do that. So that was pretty easy. Uh, you guys seen my Millennium Falcon in action. Not too much of action, but uh, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it for the video. It's pretty simple. So to recap, uh, gear 12 pieces. Get into a good guild uh, that makes at least 40 stars if possible. Uh, get Hermit Yoda shards as much as possible. If you guys want to do Hermit Yoda only, log that first. You go ahead. That's uh, that's your choice. But I'd suggest working on gear pieces. For gear pieces, get the pilots, especially the first order Tie pilot and the the Tie fighter pilot gear up to get the ships their ships fast fast as possible then if you have like a capital ship uh and then you could gear those tunes if you want for example for me i'm doing thrawn i'm using thrawn so i could gear thrawn and get him the fastest as possible and uh yeah and in, in that turn you could actually beat ships and have an advantage of some kind at least and that in turn it'll lead you to getting zetas for getting first in uh, ships and in, in turn you could zeta your tunes for arena so it's all in a circle like i said and it's very important that you guys work on every aspect of the game. Hope that hope this video helped, guys. I tried tackling for everyone, you know, free to play alike, and everyone who has no clue on what to gear first. So that's it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Comment below what you guys want to see on my on, the, on my account. I have a pretty good roster. Um, and yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.